What's going on, everybody? Good morning. It is Friday the 13th. Markets are up in the green so far this morning. What a good sight to see after so many red days to the downside. Although, downside days are nothing but lots of opportunity. Kicking this video off this morning, we're going to take a look at the market sentiment once again, something interesting to show you over on the stock market sentiment. So we're looking at the crypto uh, fear and greed index still sitting in extreme fear um, down in these low, low digits once again. Um, just wanted to share that with you guys. Just do a search for the Crypto Fear and Greed Index and you'll come across this website. Tells you how they derive the numbers. Definitely worth keeping your eyes on, especially when we get to these low levels in the extreme fear. A lot of opportunity out there. Um, over here to the Fear and Greed Index, that would be the CNN for the stock market. Now, this is where things are getting interesting. We're sitting at single digits right now. We're at a number six reading for the Crypto Fear and Greed Index. This is not something you see very often. This tells me that we are obviously one sitting in extreme fear and two very close to some kind of a market bottom here um did the market bottom come in yesterday well obviously we'll have to look back and see that we are very close to a market bottom and this is telling us that so whether it's within a couple of days or whether we rally pull back and then double bottom we're very close keep your eye on this do a search for the cnn fear and greed index could be a major bottom, could be a short-term bottom, but we're definitely very, very oversold. All right, so check those out. That would be the CNN Fear and Greed Index and the Crypto Fear and Greed Index. Let's go check out some charts here. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and consider doing so. A lot of the viewers not yet joined us here on YouTube, so go ahead and do that. Leave us some comments as well. So we're going to take a look at four, uh, three different markets today. We'll start this video off by looking at XRP, see what's going on. XRP found some support on its pullback, which was, there's a lot of uh, price action in here. And so far, we're trying to find some support there. Also, we are getting quite far away from the 200 day. That is also in something to, to make your radar go off. When we get that far away from the 200 day, some kind of reaction will take place. Basically, 60% away from the 200 day. And that can work both on the upside and on the downside. So if you go back over to here for XRP, you can see when XRP gets too far away from its 200 day, take warning, here's a 230 or so percent away. And then we obviously got a pullback. So we'll see, is this the bottom for XRP? Well, it sure could be. Um, like I said, we like to buy strength though, so we're not much of the type to be buying the dip. We do um, definitely dollar cost average, but for major buy signals, we do like to see more strength coming into the markets. But so far, XRP looks like it's trying to find a footing down in here somewhere. We do have some overhead resistance these areas now, they were support. Now there'll be resistance right up in here in that mid 50s or so cent range. So keep your eye on XRP. If we zoom out a little bit here, let's see if we can go to a weekly chart for XRP. XRP. 
Looks like we're trying to find some support as well on the weekly time frame at the 200 day. So that would be good to see if we can get back up and close above that 200 day. Closing below it, that would not be the greatest. So keep your eye on that as well. Still has a look to it like this could be a major break above if and when that time comes. It's only a matter of time, we believe. So keep your eye on that. This has a look like it, um, both in the stock market and as well in the crypto market, like it's nothing but a big shakeout. With market sentiment sitting where it's at, we expect a very, very strong rally to come here in the near future. So XRP today, let's see, let's go back to the daily chart for XRP. Let's see here. So right now we're sitting up uh, about 14% or so. Um, definitely pulling back a little bit off the highs, but nice to see some green numbers after quite the slide of the downside. Let's check out Casper. Casper currently up right now, just about 17%. Um, we hit a low of, what was yesterday's low? That was that three cent, I believe. So if you were watching yesterday's video, I mentioned that, plus it happened real time on the video, that we tapped the all-time lows exactly and then rallied, and that was that three cents. So three cents goes back about a year ago, right over here, that was the all-time low according to this data here on TradingView and using this chart data. And we have rallied quite nicely since then. Let's see how much we are off the lows for Casper. Basically right there. So we're about 30 about 30% 30 off the lows from about 24 hours ago, so early yesterday morning. We were able to pick up some Casper in and around the lows. Nothing too crazy because I've mentioned before that we like to buy um, strength and not so much try to catch the exact bottom. That can be a dangerous thing. But don't blame those who are accumulating big, big time on these major pullbacks. Definitely a lot of nice opportunity out there. So we will see if. We continue higher from here. Like I said, there is some overhead resistance in here as well. Just like there was an XRP, there's going to be in Casper. But big move percentage-wise if we get back up in here from where we're at today. So definitely a trade opportunity for those nimble traders out there. Let me go to a three-minute chart. I want to show you where we bottomed. Let's see here. Yeah, I was right there because we took out the lows and that was the end of that. So we were doing a video yesterday morning. Looks like we put in a, a low here, had a nice rally, rolled over, messed around with those lows, messed around with those lows, messed around with those lows right here. We got an undercut of all of those lows. Casper undercut all of these lows, tapped the three cent mark perfectly. And so far that has marked the bottom. And we have been moving higher ever since yesterday morning. Pretty cool to see that. Um, I have mentioned that in uh, other videos that markets sometimes will get to a major high or a major low reach past that price just to reverse in the opposite direction. And so far, that's what's happened with Caster, uh, Casper. Excuse me. We haven't breached it, but we did tap it on the money and then moved the other way. So whatever the reason is, maybe there's some unfilled um, inventory at those levels. Um, it's quite inter interesting to watch, and it was definitely interesting to see that real time yesterday morning. Um, I was saying it would be nice to see that hold. And what did it do? It pulled back, tapped it as we were making the video, and so far has marched higher. Will it hold? Will we get a bigger break like this today? 
I think there's a good chance of that. I'm assuming markets do continue higher. Um, so far, they're looking like they they want to do that. So keep your eye on that. Keep your eye on these overhead resistance levels here. So far, 30% move off the lows. Congratulations to anybody accumulating shares down there. Also, like I said, we are very far away from the 200 day up here at 10 cents. So keep your eye on that as well. When we get too extended in one direction or the other, you'll expect a counter move. And that works in both directions. Taking a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin, I mean, very, very nice move to the downside here. Is this the bottom? Definitely has a bottomish look. So you can see this move right here that just took place over the um, past couple of weeks or so has a similar look to this over in here. And that obviously sparked a massive rally to the upside. Question is, is something like that playing out right now? Um, I think if the crypto markets are going to follow what the stock market's about to do, I think the odds would favor that. We expect a big rally to show up here in the stock market. Um, and some people would say, and it's uh, you know, there's, there's some validity, validity to that, that the stock market or the crypto markets do kind of follow the stock market. Also, it has a similar look like this over in here. So we had our rally pullback dumped hard and then started to move higher so we have our big rally that took place consolidation pretty far a dump to the downside will we move higher definitely something to keep in mind so that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video i think we are closer to a market bottom than heading much lower especially over in the stock market. And like I said, if the crypto markets are going to follow the stock market, then I think that would also carry over into this market and we should see some higher prices here, potentially much, much higher. But time will tell. We want to see some strength come back into the markets before taking any big long positions we will also be having Casper as well as XRP posted live today for our trading signals over on Patreon. So right now we have the SPY, which is the S&P 500 ETF. That is live as of yesterday. There was a new trade that showed up for SPY yesterday. So that is why we launched, we launched the Patreon group back we wanted to have any new subs be able to take advantage of that trade and that will be updated this morning as well as with casper and xrp trade entries and protective stops so you can check that out links in the video description if you are interested in being more of an active trader although there is a asset on there that isn't as active, more of a buy and hold for a longer period of time. So sometimes that is better for certain investors who don't want to be in front of the screen all the time. But some of these and most of those signals are more for the active trader and investor. I know some people like to trade in and out of XRP, so you could definitely check that out. All right, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the video comments. Keep your eye on some of the overhead resistance here for XRP and Casper. Bitcoin looks like it put in a nice, nice candle wick yesterday. I mean, this is a really, really nice looking candle so far. Closing way up in the top, top of the range. That has a nice bottom look, but time will tell. All right, guys. Have a great Friday. I will catch you in the next video. Take care.